Hello students, this is Mr. Giamini talking about lesson 3-7 solving inequalities with rational numbers. Now there's four problems you'll see in front of you. I'm not going to do all four. I'm going to kind of knock out a couple here. Um, I really want to focus on number 16 though. Uh, you have that quiz coming up and if you can recall you should be becoming familiar with on the quizzes, the midpoint quizzes. The backside is usually writing an equation and writing an inequality. Don't be surprised to see the same thing tomorrow or I'm sorry on Friday. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, let's take a look at letter or number 14 here. So I have five and five ninths y is less than or equal to negative three and four twenty sevenths. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I want to convert these into improper's. So let's go nine times five is forty five. Forty five plus five gives me 50. So that's 50 ninths times y is less than or equal to, let's see here, 3 times 27, I believe that gives me, is that 81? 81 plus 4 gives me, that's a negative 85 over 27. Now I just want to double check here, make sure my mental math is correct. 6, 7, 8, okay, good. All right, now I'm trying to evaluate for y here. Uh, now, here's the thing. Remember when we multiply or divide by a negative, the inequality symbol flips, not when the other side is negative. So we're not multiplying or dividing by a negative here. This is a positive. Okay, so I want to divide by 59 or I want to multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 9 fiftieths. That'll cancel each other out, so I'm just left with a y over here. I'm going to multiply this side by, and this looks just god awful. Nine fiftieths. Oh, what an ugly set of fractions. But because I like to look for common factors diagonally, um, I know that. Let's see here. Nine goes into both nine and twenty-seven. Nine goes into nine once. Nine goes into twenty-seven three times. Uh, 50 and 85. Well, they end in 5 and 0, so I know 5 goes into both. So 5 goes into this 10 times. 5 goes into 85. Let's see, 5 goes into 8 once with 3 left over. So it goes in there 17 times. Well, that wasn't too bad. So now I have negative 17 thirtieths. So y must be less than or equal to negative 17 thirtieths. Remember to check this, I could substitute it back in. I'm going to substitute back into this part here where I converted. Let's see here, 50 ninths times negative 17 thirtieths. Sorry for the sloppy writing there. Negative, uh, was that 17 thirtieths? Should be greater than or equal to Let's, I'll convert this back to a mixed. Um, now, take a look at this. Let's see here. 50 times 17. Let's see, 50 times 10 would be 500 plus another 750s would be, let's see, there's 250s per 100. That's 300, 350. So is that 500 plus 350? Is that 850, I'm thinking? Let me just double check my math here. Uh, let's go 17 times 50. I'll drop the zero over here. That's 35. Hey, I was right. So that would give me 850 over 9 times 30 is, what is that, 270. All right. Hmm, let's see here. That's a negative, right? Yeah. So now I go, let's see here. Got to do some more math. Of course, that would make sense in math class. 850 divided by 270. Let's see, that goes, I wish it would go four times, but of course it doesn't. It goes three. That's zero. That's 21. That's eight. I have 40 left over, so I could have negative three. And let's see here, what did I say? 40 270 which then reduces to just cut the zeros off. Oh, I love it. 
negative 3 over 4 and 4 two, uh, 27. So that does, is less than or equal to? Yes, it is. All that work, all that perseverance paid off. We were right. All right, let's take a look at the next question. Uh, I want to look at the story problem. Let's take a look at the story problem here. Um, get all this annotations cleaned away. I forgot to write my answer up here. I forget what it was already. Not good. Um, Sarah bought a 55-yard bolt of ribbon. If she wants to cut pieces that are one and three, one and one-third yard long, what is the maximum number of ribbons she can cut from this? Okay. Well, I know we're dealing with 55 yards. Now I cannot go over 55 yards. I can be equal to maximum. I can be equal to that, but I cannot go over to it. And I'm cutting them in one and one-third yard strips. I want to figure out how many I can cut. How many? So I don't know how many, so I'll just call that N. So there's my inequality. Okay. Uh, I may convert this to a mixed number here. So that would give me, what is that? Four-thirds N is less than or equal to 55. So remember on a quiz, there's one point there or one point there for whatever way you want to write. I'm not writing too well this morning. Okay, I want to solve for n. I want to evaluate for n. So I'm going to divide by 4 thirds or really multiply by its reciprocal, which is 3 fourths. Those cancel out, so I'm left with n. So let's go with 55 times 3 fourths. Well, I'll just make 55 over 1, as you can do with all whole numbers to make an internal fraction. 3 fourths. Uh, 55 times 4 gives me 165. It's 165 fourths. Now let's take it and I'll divide that. 165 divided by 4. 4 goes into 1 0 times. 4 goes into 16 4 times. There's nothing left over. 4 goes into 5 once. Now I'll have a decimal here. But I can't, I want to cut, I can't cut a decimal of a piece. So the, the maximum number that you can cut is 41. Now again, if I'm writing inequality, I could do it as 1 and 1 third n. Each piece is 1 and 1 third yard, yards long times the number we can cut. But we cannot cut any more than, or she cannot, she only bought 55 yards. So whatever, how many pieces I'm cutting times the 1 and 1 third yards cannot exceed 55 yards. Well, we know that the number of 1 and 1 third yard pieces you can cut if you have four, 55 yards total is 41. If you want to do a little extra credit, you're more than welcome to do number 13 and 15 and bring them into school for, uh, let's just say, two bonus points. All right, take care. Have a great day.